Okay, so now we're ready to set up the LightLogic LPCUA on these transformers on this job. Um, there's three components to LightLogic. You have the LPRO, which is the LightLogic programmer. We have the LRMT, which is the LightLogic remote. And we have the LPCU and the LPCUA, lighting power control unit and lighting power control unit with an antenna is the dash A. So the first thing we're going to do is um, you're going to notice when you plug the light logic in, you're going to get to this screen here, you're going to hit the menu button. And from the menu button, you can do several things. You can, you can set your schedule. You, you can go to the LPCU menu, which is here. You can set your time with your clock and your date and everything. You set your location. You can manually operate the light logic, turn it on and off from this room, uh, programmer as well. You set your pin number for the job. Every, every job that you do um, is going to have its own unique pin number. I recommend using maybe your, your client's uh, last four of their phone number or the address of the home. Um, that way it's easy to remember. You don't have to commit it to memory. You just kind of know what you, what you normally use. Um, utility, if you needed to up, upgrade an LPCU A or an LPCU module, um, in the field. Uh, we do do up updates every now and then. You simply just go to utility, you put a little SD card in the bottom here with the new upgrade and that sends it out to the LPCU and the LPCUA is out in the field. Um, and then you can go to review and you can review everything that you've done. So what we're going to start with doing is we're going to add an LPCU, lighting power control unit. So you go to LPCU and hit enter and from the LPCU menu you have add LPCU, edit an LPCU, review your LPCU scheduling, uh, remove an LPCU, upgrade it, um, and then you can even go to LPCU info and that'll tell you what, um, what the temperature is of the LPCU, what the serial number is, all the vital information of those modules. So we're gonna add an LPCU. So when I go here and hit um, add LPCU, so I'm gonna hit add, now I'm gonna hit the button on the LPCU module. And once I hit that button, you're gonna see that the view number comes up. This is actually the serial number that's associated with that LPCU. So if you look on the back of your module, you're gonna see a sticker and it'll have the serial number on there. Um, you can set your scene number. So every light logic control unit, you're able to have up to four scenes. Every scene you can have up to 250 LPCUs on that scene. So it's quite limitless. Um, I mean, you, you, considering you have a thousand transformers on one job is pretty amazing. So um, set our scene number. So we're going to use scene number one for now. If I wanted to, I could go to scene number two, three, and four, and then after four, it circles back to one. Now I'm going to hit next. Set the short ID number. What the short ID number is, is simply um, an ID that you're going to um, attached to this LPCU and it's for reference only. You don't ever need this for programming, it's just simply for reference. So what I like to do is I use the last two digits of the serial number. So up here where it says view 021823, this is the serial number, so I'm gonna use number 23 for my ID number. So if I just hold this button, it'll actually start to go pretty quick. So 23, and I'm gonna hit save. It says please wait. Right now this is telling the LPCU that I have plugged in that, hey, you're, you're scene number one, you're going to be number 23, now it says successful. So now I've just can, uh, created a link between the programmer and the LPCU module itself. Hit any key here to continue, it automatically goes into search mode for a second, third, fourth, and on and on and on LPCU. I don't want to do any more than one, so I'm going to go ahead and hit exit. And then exit again back to the main menu. Um, from the LPCU, what I, excuse me, one more time, exit, main menu. So now what I have to do is set a schedule what time I want this LPCU to turn on and off. So I'm going to hit the up button, go to schedule, and hit enter. Um, the, this client has requested that the lights come on at uh, dusk and off at 11 p.m. And uh, so what we're going to do is set that accordingly. Um, this is astronomical, the light logic um, does keep track of daylight savings time. So dusk and dawn features, just a, a really great feature to have. So if you see here though, just for, just for reference, if I hit the up and down button, it goes from dusk to dawn and you know, I can disable it, I can, I can choose whatever time I want. So let's go up here to on at dusk, hit next, off at 11 p.m. 
Now if I hit next, I can also do a second on and off time. So let's just say this particular homeowner wanted their lights on. Um, they get up early in the morning, they want their lights on at four o'clock in the morning. So what I'd simply do is you just come down here and scroll until you get to 4 a.m. So 4 a.m. Next, off at, uh, I would just do dawn. So as soon as the lights, you know, the, the sun comes up, the lights turn off. So go to dawn and hit next. Now down here, the last thing you do is you can choose Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which days um, are going to work with the programming that I have here. Um, where you would want to probably use, the, where, the, where this comes in handy, um, is if you have two different schedules. So if you look at back up here, it says scene 1A, and there's also a scene 1B. So for instance, um, if I wanted to have these lights come on at dusk and off at 11 p.m., but I wanted that to happen Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night, well, Friday and Saturday, the, the homeowners might choose to stay up a little later, so I could turn Friday off and hit next and turn Saturday off by using these up and down arrows. Now this schedule is gonna work with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, not Friday and not Saturday. If I hit scene, that goes to scene 1B. So now I can go on at dusk, off at 12 a.m. So if I hit next, on the second on and off time, I'm gonna leave disabled because if, you know, Friday night and Saturday night, they're not gonna be staying on too late uh, or stay, uh, getting up too early, I should say. So if I hit next, I'm gonna turn these days off. Sunday's off, Monday's off, Tuesday's off, Wednesday's off, Thursday is off. Now, the days that I have on scene 1A are gonna be turned off for scene 1B. Scene 1B is gonna be Friday and Saturday only. So I'm gonna hit save, save and send changes, yes. And what this is doing right now is this is sending the, cha the saved changes to the LPC. It says successful, press any key to continue and that takes you back to the main menu. Okay, so now from back at the main menu, I've set my schedule and I've added an LPCU to my, my programmer here. I need to set my clock. This does not know what time it is. Um, just out of the box, you have to set it. After your initial setting, it'll keep track of it from there on out. So today's date is March 30th. So I'm gonna go March 30th, 2015. Hit next again, the, my time, my current time where I'm located is 12.47 p.m. So that right now this is a.m. So I'm gonna scroll through until I hit the 12 again and that will go to p.m. Now you can use my down arrows, save some time. It's now 12.48 p.m. Next, Eastern Standard Time, Central Standard Time, Mountain Standard Time, Arizona Standard Time and Pacific Standard Time. We also have Alaska Standard Time and Hawaii Standard Time. So we cover all the time zones. Um, so Pacific Standard Time, I'm gonna hit save, sync time with LPCU, you always choose yes. Again, this is telling that LPCU the, the date, the time, all the information I've provided. It says successful. Back at my main menu now, I choose location and under location, you use zip code. Now, I'm gonna use 92595. So this is the location of this home, 92595. Now by doing this and you hit save, what that's gonna do is it's gonna actually send the information to the LPCU or LPCUA, whatever one you're using, um, and the nice thing about that is, is, is those LPCUs actually keep track of the time. So even if this lost power for whatever reason, the LPCUs have a battery backup and they retain their own information. So you're never gonna lose that. So it's pretty fool foolproof. Now let's just say I didn't have a zip code. Maybe for our uh, Canadian friends, we were using this up there and, and, and uh, you needed to put longitude and latitude in. So what you could actually do is you hit the LAT button and you could actually enter in a longitude and latitude as well. Um, if I hit the SUN button, I can adjust the, the dusk and dawn offset timer. So right now, the, the standard factory setting out of the box is gonna be 15 minutes, uh, minus 15 minutes to dusk and turn off 15 minutes after dawn. So plus 15 minutes on dawn. Um, that's a pretty standard time. A lot of people just, just go with that. So we're gonna go back and then hit save. 
I'm gonna hit save, save and send changes, yes. So I didn't enter in the longitude and latitude, it's gonna stick with my 92595 uh, zip code. Press any key to continue. Now I'm gonna go to my pin number, and for my pin number, I hit enter, and I'm gonna use the home address, so that's four, three, three, zero. Hit save. This is successful. At this point, what we've done is we've set our, set our schedule, we've added LPCU, we've set our clock, our location, set a pin number. Now, um, one of the accessories that we have here, the remote, you can actually take this off the wall and, and, and walk around with it if you'd like. But for manual operation, I plug this thing in, I go to setup, and I put my four digit pin number in here. So I'm gonna go to four, three, three, zero. I'm gonna hit enter, it says accepted. And now lighting scene one, if I wanted to turn it on for an hour, it says one and then the hour, I could hit enter. Now the lights are gonna be on for one hour. After one hour, it'll, it'll turn off and then it'll resume its normally scheduled program. Um, if I go use my arrows here, I can go two hours, three hours, four, all the way up to 12 hours. And then after 12 hours, it goes to off, on, and then it goes to one minute, and you can go up to 59 minutes. After you go to your 59 minute mark, it goes back to one hour. So I'm gonna hit cancel, and I'm going to turn the remote off for now. So for time being, we are scheduled to be on and off. On at dusk, off at 11 p.m. on Monday, excuse me, Sunday through Thursday, and then on Friday and Saturday, the lights will be on from uh, dusk to 12 a.m. in the morning.